Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we have entered our second pause period of the year. Deep summer, everything just stops growing. Go into the plants, go into a state of survival from the heat and uh, in the middle of winter they do the same because of the cold and this is our rhythm that we slowly discover and uh, we are not complaining we're not wondering we are not thinking about it anymore we just go with it. Here we have our sandbox procreation cuttings experiment. It is close to the house. We can watch it carefully, water it with a hose pipe and uh, cover it, uncover it as demanded by the, especially the hot, dry wind, we try to cover things. So, um, just one of the three stashes of um, cuttings that didn't take. Then we removed them and planted some seeds. Now, the seed, the summer seed planting, uh, there's no evidence that anything is growing. Maybe we should have done it much earlier, but then we didn't know that which cuttings will take or not. And maybe these seeds now sit in there, either they are rotting or they are ready for next season to grow. We will have to see. This is our asparagus that we grew from seed. We are quite happy about that. And the oleander and the daisy and the gooseberry and the willow. figs they do well but uh, underground they are not so strong so it looks like a perfect plant to transplant but they don't do well so we will just keep them here until next spring and some of the Vachalia Karoo and Elderberry some vines, some pomegranate this one is um, some of the some of the quince they're only getting leaves now interesting I would have thrown it out long time ago if I have had the time more figs more vachalia more vines and figs and then some mulberries self-sown uh, oak trees, home oaks from the tree above. Actually we are making huge progress on the last year where we didn't manage it too well and this year I think we have doubled or tripled our 
plants that have formed roots and leaves and growing. That's good. Feels that we learn. And uh, all the cuttings here are from our own plants. So we hope that they are hardened plants. They can survive our harsh Mediterranean climate conditions. I also have a bougainvillea, blood red one here. I actually took from the side of the road. I planted about 20 and only two of them grow, grew. I thought it was much easier. But next year we'll do the same thing and perhaps all of them take. Depends on when one does it and how one looks after it. Some plants they need more moisture, others less. Some more light, others less. Um, we are too much into too many cuttings here. We don't specialize. And that is perhaps why, where we should go next year is um, take sections or a different sandbox for different plants. We are learning. We do feed these plants now and then from uh, some teas we make from other plants and also uh, leftover indoor houseplant feed mix we have, but not much. Just around the corner from the sandbox, we have some plants we already uh, grew from cuttings. This is an interesting area here. It's very, very rocky because the uh, rubble from the old farmhouse that was demolished was all pushed here. And uh, whenever I need rocks, I come to this area and easy to find them. Mulberry, bamboo and this fig is already from our own propagation stock. All these rosemaries the same and uh, also the laurel. After I whacked it with a weed cutter. Below there with a few more. Some of our own propagation stock. And uh, here as well. This pomegranate didn't make it. Something disappeared here and here, but uh, this is one summer's growth on this ear, Acacia elata, and uh, this is a pine. So some of them they do very well, others struggle. We plant half of the plants for us and half of nature to do with it what nature wants. We are not always sure what happens to these plants, but uh, they form some roots and they grow and this is what we want. Some pomegranates from our own 
propagation stock moringas um, this is a tree that produces a seed with a wing on it I just call it the flyer I grew it from seed three springs ago and every time it's either eaten by the locusts or something we are in for spell of hot weather again extremely hot dry winds and then only in October the plants will come out of their paused dormancy summer dormancy and start growing again till next time goodbye